Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm John Adams. And I'm Emily McGarry bringing you your G News broadcast for Monday, May 1st. Teacher Appreciation Week begins today, and reporter Dominic Pistrudo went out to ask some Grizzlies about their favorite teachers. Take a look. For years, we've always looked up to teachers. Let's see what they would say if students were asked, what would happen if they didn't have teachers? But what teacher in this school, if there are any, have inspired you to be where you are now? I think Sergeant Hillard and Colonel Strong have inspired me to where I want to be today, to go in the military and serve my country and protect everybody here that I love. So, in your eyes, what would the world look like without teachers? Um, I think we, all the children would be like uneducated and we would just play video games all the time, be fat. What teacher here, if there's any, have inspired you to get where you are now? Um, I think my uh, English teacher, Miss Lynch, because she always makes um, learning so fun and she just always like has a smile on her face. Makes me want to come to class. Now, what would happen if the world didn't have teachers? Um, I feel like everyone kind of like being a loss of education, and we really wouldn't know how to do day-to-day -day tasks, like you know, just doing simple math equations or learning how to read, read and write properly. Just simple stuff like that. And how have teachers inspired you to be where you are now? Um, I would say Coach Asprey. He's my history teacher. He's a pretty cool guy. I like the way he teaches. Um, he really delivers a message right. Um, he really inspired me to really like look into history and to understand it better. I'd say that's probably the biggest inspiration. Tomorrow, SCA will be holding their first annual Spring Fest here at this school right before the sports play their home games. There will be food trucks, a cornhole tournament, and Christian Cleverger with 757 tie-dye to help make tie-dye shirts for $5. Bring your own, bring your own shirts to tie-dye. There will be shirts to buy for $2. Limited sizes are available. We hope to see you all there. Attention class of 2017, this Friday, May 5th, is the deadline to submit prom permission slips. If you have not yet received one, you can stop by the Media Center or room D117 to pick one up. You may also print one out from the Senior Class Weebly page. Once it's completed with parent signatures and per pertinent contact information, return it to the Media Center, room D117, or the box in the main office. You do not need to obtain signatures in any of the boxes along the top of the permission slip. These items will be checked by the class sponsors after your slip has been submitted. If there are any obligations, you will be notified via homeroom and you must take care of this issue before you purchase a prom ticket. From May 1st to May 18th, you may purchase prom tickets using a credit card online only. Service charges will apply. To purchase tickets with cash or check, stop by the ticket table May 15th through May 18th during all four lunches. See a class sponsor with any questions. Grassfield High School will recognize senior students at graduation who have a who have had a perfect attendance. To be eligible for this recognition, you must have perfect attendance for two or more consecutive years in high school. If you feel you are el eligible for the recognition, you must email your guidance counselor no later than May 19th. Attention all boys interested in playing volleyball next year. Open gym and conditioning sessions will begin today after school in the gym. Sessions will run min Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 4 to 6 through the remainder of the school year. Please see Coach McConnell in room D104 with any questions and to get the group remind code to order in order to receive weekly announcements and updates. Attention all girls interested in playing volleyball next fall. Open gym and conditioning sessions will begin tomorrow after school in the gym. Sessions will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6 p.m. You must have a current VHSL physical and hold a 2.0 GPA or higher to participate. If you have any questions, please see, Ms. Please see Coach Smith in uh, C105. Attention Grassfield TSA members, there will be a meeting tomorrow after school in room 213 to discuss Technosphere. 
This is the last meeting before state competitions and all competing members should be in attendance. Bus passes will be, will be provided to those who need them. Any junior members of the National Honor Society who are interested in running for an officer position for next year are invited to pick up an, a pink application from the file on Ms. Fitzgerald's door in room D110. Also, any senior members of the National Honor Society who are interested in applying for the chapter scholarship may pick up an application sheet from the file on Ms. Fitzgerald's door in room D110. Your very last opportunity to pre-order your 10th anniversary copy of the Paw Print Yearbook is May 14th. You can still order online using a credit card. This is the only way to guarantee you receive your copy when they arrive in June. Don't miss out on this chance to own Grassfield history. Visit JostinsYearbooks.com to order. For one night only, the Grassfield High School Chorus Varsity Show presents Cirque de Grizzly on Friday 7, at 7 p.m. in the food court. Admission is $10 and includes pizza and a drink. There will also be games, prizes, entertainment. Come see the greatest show in Chesapeake. Attention sophomore class, class officers and delegates. We will be meeting tomorrow at 815 in room A106. Please see Ms. Rommel or Ms. Peterson if you cannot attend. Attention Rury Teen Club members. We will be meeting Wednesday, May 3rd at 815 in room A106. Please see Mrs. Rummel or Mrs. Peterson if you cannot attend. It is time to submit your brag sheet if you are interested in being considered for the Grassfield High School School Scholarship and Award Program. Email an updated brag sheet to Ms. Freeman in guidance. Additionally, if you have been offered a scholarship award either from your college, university, or from a private organization, email a copy of your award letter to Mrs. Freeman in guidance. This information is used to highlight all scholarship recipients at the graduation ceremony. Scholarship award letters and brag sheets are due to Ms. Freeman in guidance by Friday. Don't miss these important deadlines. Now please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for tuning in today, Grizzlies. Have a great day. Let's tell the world all the things